Well, hello there, YouTube. Matt here from Ashdown Park, and it's Friday night. We're at the setup for the Tunbridge Model Railway Club exhibition, Saturday the 15th of Feb. I am here with two of my best mates who are also part of Ashdown Park. Please give a big welcome to Stu Mizzen and hey, YouTube. What's up, Gav. Hi, so this is Stu. So tell a bit about yourself. So yeah. Um... Hang on, let me just move that out of the way. <laughs> We're, we are eating, ladies and gentlemen. We're having a bite to eat before we set up. So tell them a bit about yourself. Hey YouTube, so yeah, I'm Stuart Mizzen, I'm 26 years old and I've been into steam trains my whole life and model steam trains. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to drive Bullet Pacifics, which I'm, one of which I part own. I had a great opportunity to be the captain of the Great of Tunbridge for the Great Model Railway Challenge and I absolutely loved it. Which I would like to add I was also involved in. I am the Beach Hut guy, if you remember. It was Series 1, Episode 3, Globe Trotting. We anyway, had a great time, we? We good. had an ama absolutely amazing time. I've made two best mates of life from my model oh, rally yeah, club, yeah. and we do a lot of days out. Night Obviously, night. got the exhibition. Me and Gav go off and go nightclubbing. Yeah. You could find us at the steam rail in the daytime and clubbing in the evening. But no, I've got great mates here. It's a great ex model rally exhibition. If you get the chance to come, guys, hopefully see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'd just, like the point, I'd just like to point out that this isn't actually live. This is being recorded. So... This will be actually posted after the exhibition, so we Ooh. hope to see you at the 2021 exhibition, which will in fact be our 40th exhibition. So 2020 is our 40th anniversary. The club came into existence in 1980, and I've been a member for about 12, 13 years. I joined in 2007, September. Uh, when did you join, mate? I joined in September 2006. So you've been about 14 years. About you, Gav? I think about the same really, just after Stuart, for sure. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we're all we're all double O gauge modellers. Um I do dabble in N gauge as well. Got the um, thing, I? Yeah, I mean I'm in N gauge I'm Great Western, of course. Great Ooh. West Oh Um but yeah, we're both we're all double O and mainly Southern, so yeah. um <laughs> I've got some southern stock. Uh, a couple of bullet Pacifics. You've got a lot of bullet Pacifics. I've well. You've got a lot of bullet Pacifics, haven't you? They are you? the best. They are the yeah. best. I have tried to convince him to uh, go Great Western, Not but chance. for some reason Not he won't have any of it. For some reason. He, he just he just doesn't see the light, you know. George Jackson, Churchwood and Charles Collett all the way. So, uh, anyway, this is kind of the introduction, so... Um, I'm gonna stop there and we'll see you well at the exhibition so um, I might even post this up on Instagram as a as a exclusive teaser, teaser. so um, I'll do that in a minute so anyway we uh, hope you're coming to the uh, exhibition and if not we wish you all the best and hope you enjoy the full video to come on YouTube. So, gents, anything you'd like to add as a final say? Look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Uh, there'll be plenty more videos from this man over here featuring all of us. So, speak to you soon. Future days out. You know it. Oh yeah, definitely future days out. We've 100%. got a few ideas in the. Um, yeah, I mean the only person that's missing tonight is Rubin. Um, yeah, he's he's not. He's on sort of holiday, so. He won't be making an appearance, but uh, yeah, we'll be here vlogging for you, and we'll see you then. Have a good one.
Well, good morning, people. It's Saturday the 15th of Feb, and it's the uh, day of the exhibition. So we're here. Uh, I'm with my best mate. Hello, YouTube. You all right? Yeah. Uh, Gav hasn't arrived yet. He's running late. He overslept. <laughs> we're going to rib him later for it. Naturally, naturally. Uh, well, what do you expect? He's a Pompey supporter. <laughs> we're Saints supporters. Jumpers for goalposts. Jumpers for goalposts. Mm, marvellous. A uh, bit of 90s comedy reference there for you. But yeah, I'm going to film during the day, do a couple of layouts. Uh, probably won't say a lot because we'll be pretty busy. But um, yeah, join us and hope you like the video. So we will see you next time. Any uh, last? Like Matt said, hope to see you guys at the exhibition today. Um, it's going to be a real good day. We always have a right laugh. And if you're down, obviously come and see us. Um, looking forward to it. Hopefully see you then. Yeah. This will also be posted straight up to Instagram, so you'll be able to see like an exclusive. But this is also going to be edited with the other video we did last night. Uh, I'm keeping this all in, bloopers and everything, because it's fun. Uh, and yeah, so it's going to be a good day. Join us. And obviously, the other thing I'll be doing is photography. I'm the club photographer, so I might even include some of my photographs from the day as well uh, with a musical montage sort of thing so yeah see you then bye well hello there youtube matt here from ashdown park and i'm in the main hall the sports hall of the angel center in tunbridge and the layouts are now being set up uh, this one here is eddington junction a lovely i want to say o gauge maybe seven mil um but it's yes it's somerset and dorset so this is one of the oh, one of the uh layouts in the main hall very lovely indeed that's what i love about this hobby you know you always see something different on the layouts you know you never see the same thing twice uh, one of our sales stands there one of our members walking past uh, this is Ricksworth Green an EM scale layout I'm kind of trying to get some of the filming done for the YouTube channel before the public arrive we've got about 45 minutes before the doors open I would imagine they're already probably queuing up outside uh, as I said, I'm also doing photographs, but as I say, now we have a YouTube channel. Uh, I can also film for you to see it, you know. So, this is St. Luke's, or at least the station is called St. Luke's. I'm not quite sure what uh, region this is, but uh, it's a beautiful layout. I absolutely exquisite you'll probably hear me use terms like that all day to be honest with you um, this is, this layout is Welford Bridge look at the movement on that turntable ladies and gentlemen that is a lovely movement this This is a gorgeous layout. And it has, yes, yes it has. This one has been seen in Railway Modeler as well. So, um, I will be filming for the channel throughout the day. And you'll see plenty more of the layouts. Ah, now this one, all, this one catches my attention because it's Great Western, Western region. So, uh, you know, catches my attention my uh, interest immediately auto coach down there with tow freight van inspection saloon oh it's an inspection i beg your pardon ladies and gentlemen it's an inspection saloon <laughs> i'm a railway modeler and i should i should know these things i'm sure there's plenty of you in the uh, comment section at the moment going it's an inspection saloon not a auto coach so i beg your pardon um, but yeah, no, this is Cold Harbour Lane, one of our guest layouts, and uh, 
I'm looking forward to seeing it running so uh, I will film quite a lot of the layouts for the channel as well so I will see you later enjoy so I can't not film this one this is bottom work siding that belongs to club member Chris Matthews it's an industrial layout and I mean look at it it's it's amazing I mean less is more is it not less is definitely more um, the announcements have begun ladies and gentlemen uh, yeah so this is Chris Matthews that's Chris there he's our he's a club member this is his layout and uh, oh Mr. Mizen Jr's just walked past so uh, as I said ladies and gentlemen uh, so yeah um, he's still sort of test running at the moment but uh, we've got a Janus there with uh, some coal trucks it, it is purely industrial it, and I do like industrial layouts so um, yeah everything's been weathered um, and the the colour schemes work really well so that's um, bottom works siding we'll see it moving later so I'll leave it there so this one is Manston Airport owned by the City of Canterbury Club obviously uh, Manston being located near to Canterbury very much a, a wartime layout which I'm very much fascinated by I am thinking of doing a uh, wartime sort of marshalling yard at some point in the future in Engage um, by the looks of things it's based more around the American sort of GI um, there's there's quite a few American vehicles but obviously British yes here we are yeah it's run by the uh, City of Canterbury Model Railway Society and love the station building I think that's absolutely brilliant um, obviously 1930s in style so sort of wartime it was featured in Hornby magazine uh, so I won't read the blurb obviously um, when you know you have to see it in in real life it's a lovely layout. I think it's going to be one of my favourites of the day. Um, so yeah, that's Manston Airport, belonging to the City of Canterbury Model Railway Society. And we'll move on. So I will see you later, YouTube. On to the next one. So we finally have stuff moving on bottom work siding. That looks like a, oh, it's a class 76 coming through it's got to be northern it's got pantographs so it can't be southern we didn't have pantographs down here till HS1 so it's a nice mover actually Chris nice smooth runner and it's going to come into the <laughs> fiddle yard or should do anyway any second no he stopped behind the signal box that's probably on purpose points are probably changing Those voices are in the background are two of our club members discussing the uh, rotors for lunch and the. Uh... <laughs> yes, we do provide lunch here for our guests, even if they are club members. But yeah, that's um, 
bottom work siding I'll try and get some more movement on there once uh, some other trains appear so I'll leave it at that for that one and move on see you next so this is forest stone it's a modern image layout it has a uh, southern running on it is this n-gauge or two mil n-gauge this is n-gauge so this is what I actually model in at home so um, as you know I uh, model in double O at the club but uh, n-gauge at home and it's it's nice because this this layout in my opinion shows what you can build in such a small space this this is a very nice example of I mean this is very much like my own layout at home but uh, yeah so this is forest stone this is stand number 35 at the exhibition ah even I've just noticed if I zoom in even the coca-cola machine is lit up that's very that's a very nice touch so yeah and it's got a uh, yard at one end very nice indeed so on to the next layout yeah hi there Matt again from Ashdown Park uh, the owner of this layout Forest Stone has just pointed out to me Mr Bean I think that is a brilliant little touch it's as he said it's from the uh, sketch in the episode where Mr Bean drives his car on top that is brilliant that is absolutely brilliant I love that so yeah um, do if you are at the if you have come to the show and you've seen this that's something to look out for on so yeah okay on to the next one so on to the next layout of the morning it's St Elizabeth Street it's another N-gauge layout this is stand number 34 another modern image layout that is a well it's one of the more modern diesels I'm not too up on my knowledge of diesels I'm afraid but a very nice layout as you can see That's one thing I love about N-Gage, you can run really long trains and that is a long train that's going through at the moment, that is brilliant. So, very nicely detailed. Uh, oh dear, there's a house on fire at the back there, but uh, house under construction and at the very end, A fully functioning fairground which is a lovely touch what have we got on there we've got a Wurlitzer uh, flying chairs a ghost train uh, big wheel yep yeah. oh and it's got music as well I don't know if you can quite hear that but it's even got a DJ so that's it's playing Lady Gaga so and there's the station lovely love it so moving on to the next line. So this is Durston, this is a GWR circa 1936, so this is around the time of uh, Charles Collett during the time of the Big Four. Uh, as a great Western Railway enthusiast myself, this layout caught my attention when I saw it going up. 
um, during the setting up of the exhibition. Uh, we have a couple of we have a couple of panniers, yep, yeah, a couple of Great Western panniers, a uh, can't remember what that one is, but it's I think it's a prairie. I need I need to remember these and things. I always forget. Um, but it's uh, another lovely layout. But yeah, it's Great Western 1936, and there's a freight train coming through. Let's have a look at it. Look at that. That's lovely. <laughs> and on the goods siding you've got the pannier coming through and all even wooden decking on the footbridge that's very nice that's a lovely touch that's very nice I like this layout a lot definitely So yeah, this I think this is going to be one of my favourite layouts of the day, I'll be honest. But uh, And I hope you like it too, all of you watching at home who can't make it to the exhibition. So, can I just ask, what is this uh, double O or... This is double O, so this is... Um, at the show we do have several different scales, but this is, this is the standard modelling scale that most... Of you watching at home will be familiar with so up ah, we have a push pull coming in with auto coach into this very nice indeed so I will leave it at there for this layout I'll see you at the next one so this is scratchy bottom halt it's based on a series of cartoons um, that are displayed on the layout. And yes, it is it is the railway that was featured in the Pleasure Gardens at the in the Festival of Britain in 1951. It does say on the uh, everything on this layout is scratch built. Um, but uh, yeah, so just give you a very brief glimpse of this one. It's a lovely, small, compact layout. It's a fun layout as well. It's a, it's a lovely little fun layout with lots of detail. Um, some very excellent modelling. I like it. I like it a lot. It's really good fun. Um, one that the kids will definitely love. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's uh, Scratchy Bottom Hall. Yeah. Um, so, uh, to, 
Today we've got the new kids stand running, the new runner train with Thomas and all that at the exhibition. This is one of our newest layouts, it replaces the old test track. Uh, this was built by Bernard and Brian who are elsewhere in the exhibition centre. As you can see we've got Thomas running around at the moment but we also have Percy, uh, we've got the steamroller George I believe and Terence. I think it's Terence the traction engine, uh, tractor, I can't remember, but yeah, I'm, I'm being nodded by one of the, uh, I'm correct by, uh, I grew up with Thomas, so I should know these things, but yeah, so I'm sure this area will be full of kids later, wanting, fingers crossed, wanting to play trains, but uh, yeah, it's running really nicely, but uh, yeah, this is the kids layout. And then over here, we've got the uh, information about the club, because we are now 40 years old this year. Um, yeah. Uh, layouts going up, although uh, Ashdown, oh no, Ashdown Park does get a mention, so we are there. Um, so some stuff about Beaminster, our bigger new double O gauge layout under construction. Uh, what else have we got here? We have a display stand of double O gauge stock and locos. It's a bit dark, but uh, yeah, and O gauge stock. But anyway, so yeah. Um, the club is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. This is our 39th exhibition, so next year will be our 40th exhibition, obviously. Um, so I will leave it at that and move on. See you later. So I'm just on a break um, at the exhibition. It's quite busy now. We've got, had quite a few people through the door. Uh, I'm just on stewarding duty at the... Uh, far corner from the entrance it's got plenty of photos quite a bit of footage and yeah it's about quarter to a uh, quarter to I want to say quarter to 11 but I think that's wrong I think the time's wrong anyway it's been a good morning so far and it looks like it's gonna be a really good exhibition so um, yeah, we'll see you then. Okay, bye. So, I finally got round to having a proper look at St Luke's. It's a Western Region layout. There's a Class 35 just leaving the station. Down this end we have a two-road engine shed. Nothing uh, stored in it at the moment, so obviously uh, the fleet is out of... Uh, out on service up this end we have a signal box with a type 24 pillbox and a dock with barge and this is the Carrington Engineering Company Limited so this I this I mean at this exhibition there has not been a single layout I haven't liked I mean I love I've loved them all I think they're all really nice uh, coming into the station now is a Western Region pannier it is 4672 with two Western Region maroon coaches so uh, we've got a rail car in the bay platform Obviously, one of the most important buildings on the layout, the pub. Um, one of the uh, tin churches. There used to be one in Tunbridge, St. Ainsworth. There were, so I'm quite familiar with those types of chapels. 
yeah again another really really nice layout um, this one is run by the uh, Beaconsfield and District MRC um, um, Sorry, may I just is this double O gauge or is this it is, yeah, it is yeah, yes. so this is this is another double O gauge ladies and gentlemen. Um, so it, it uses the um, standard track unless it's the more um, I'm never sure of the codes, it's either code one hundred or code seventy five for double O gauge. This is code seventy five. One of the uh, club members have just confirmed that for me. Thank you very much. So it's actually my, my layout. Personal okay, layout, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm actually with the gentleman now that actually owns the layout, and um, so uh, yes, it's it's a lovely layout. If you if you do manage to see it on the circuit, do come and have a look for yourselves because you know it's another one I really like. I mean, the modelling on it is really nice. Um, you know, uh, all right, good shed with uh, Weybridge and everything so yes yeah I mean this video I don't think will really do the layouts justice you really do have to see all the layouts for yourself in person um, so yeah um, that's uh, St Luke's a western region double O gauge layout so the layout I'm looking at now ladies and gentlemen is Alt Ferga it's set in the Swiss Alps. Yes. Um, is this was actually pointed out to me by one of our club members, Ian, who is in fact a Swiss Alp railway modeler himself. And there is one attention to detail that really caught my eye, and it's this fire hose, which I have been informed is actually not um, fiber optics as I originally thought but it's actually a piece of tinsel that's twisted and reflecting the light as it rotates around a, a sort of um, motor which I think is absolutely impressive I am again another layout that I'm very impressed with uh, not to say that I can't say that with all the you know I've, all the layouts I've seen today have been very impressive I mean look at the mod but I mean look at look at the water detail that is I mean the mountain side itself is but um, but I have to say our exhibition manager knows a good layout when he sees one definitely he does um, how did you get that on your bicycle? I was a bit tricky all the way from the village, I must admit. <laughs> but uh, we've got a mountain engine coming along the top there. Uh, I'll just down this end we have the, the village or the town, which is very, very nice. Another, that is an electric, or is that, no, I think that's a diesel. But, uh, but, uh, ah, the cable car incline as well. That's very, that's a very nice in, uh, detail as well. That's very impressive. I like that. And of course, the, uh, the farming on the mountainside. Again, there's, there's something for everyone on this layout to see. This is, this is another one of those layouts that you know there's a lot happening um there's always something to spot always something the church itself i particularly like the detailing on the spire and the construction you know it's but uh, yeah so this is alt fergan that's the station. So it's about 20 past three. Uh, the exhibition is well in full swing. We've been going, how many hours have we been going now? Yeah, been good eight hours. We got to, the three of us got to the Angel Centre at about half past eight, even though it opened at half past seven. Uh, well, Stu and I did. Uh, a certain person that you can hear laughing overslept. 
Um, it's let's a Saturday, it's fine. He's a real old party animal, is he? Is Gav? <laughs> you know, out clubbing all night. You youngsters. Dear, oh dear. Anyway, so yeah, it's been a pretty decent show. Um, we've still got about an hour and a half left. Um, so still trying to um, sort of take photos and things. So a lot of the footage you'll see is actually still photos with a bit of music to try and make it more interesting. Um, it might be something Great Western related, I don't know, music wise. Um, something Welsh maybe, or I, don't, I don't know. I like that sort of thing. I stick out like a sore thumb at the club because I'm a Great Western Railway enthusiast. I'm surrounded by Southern enthusiasts. I say it as if it's a bad thing. Um, but it's, uh, to be honest, it's not really. It's not. We have all people from all walks of life. So, yeah. So it's been a pretty good show. Um, as, you're, as, a, as you will know, uh, you'll see loads of photos, uh, some footage as well that I've filmed. And um, yeah, we will do a, we do, we'll do a um, uh, close down of the vlog and maybe a catch up video on Thursday. Uh, I bought a load of paints, uh, some very 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 nice miniature figures double O gauge figures that I'm really looking forward to painting and um, and also a T9 so uh, a double O gauge Southern Railway T9 so all in all it's been a pretty good day um, so as I say oh yeah but I think uh, I think uh, someone's left some doors open that they shouldn't have, so, uh, you know, you can't get the staff these days. And that's one of our other people trying to shut the door, so, um, oh well, that's the, uh, that's the life of a railway modelling exhibition steward, I guess. Um, so yeah, we'll do a um, close down at the end of this vlog, and... Uh, I will get it posted up to YouTube ASAP. So um, we got about an hour and a half left, and um, not much else I can say really. So uh, see you later for this section. So I'm at Bottom Works Siding, uh, the double O gauge layout owned by Chris from our club, and as you can see, two of his cohorts have decided to put all 14 locos on the layout. Um, not necessarily prototypical because it's not actually an engine shed, but uh, you know, it's the last 10 minutes of the show. So, uh, you know, they thought to themselves just for a giggle, they put all 14 on display. <laughs> so um, yeah, we've got uh, what looks like a 31, a 37, two 76s, uh, a two class eights two class uh, well a class three two industrial locomotives one of which is steam in fact i think they're both steam and three british steel uh, diesel locomotives including two janus types so uh yeah um let's just get a different angle just so you can see them yeah they're 31 at the back there 37 the two 76s the uh 08 and the industrials and then the other 08 and three more industrials so uh, yes quite uh, quite an interesting little combo I love this red one though that is that is very nice I like that I'm sure I've seen that type somewhere before I can't remember but it looks like one of the gaswork locos they have up at um, they've got one up at Ooh, Buckinghamshire Railway Centre, and I think that's very much similar to it. So yeah, um, so yeah, looks like we're closing on bottom work sidings for this video, and uh, 14 locos on the layout. Is that a record? I don't know. Played on the gramophone. Well. That's it for another year. The 2020 exhibition is over. We've all cleared away and 
I'm getting ready to go to the pub with a couple of the other members. Uh, so we're going to have a couple of drinks, bite to eat, you know, what's a railway modelling exhibition without beer at the end of the day, you know. You've worked hard, you've earned it. So, um, Stu and Gav aren't here to give closing statements, so I will leave it there. Uh, wish you all the best. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. We are just out of uh, the moment to mention this. We are looking at um, talking about some of our favourite locos. Um, maybe in the future, we're going to look at some of our favourite models that we own. Um, yeah, so that's one idea we've got coming up for you and uh, I think signing off there for now nothing real, nothing left to show you everything's gone uh, so uh, we'll see you next time this is Matt for Ashdown Park a Tunbridge Model Railway Club layout signing off see you next time see you next time <laughs>